Hello and welcome to another video where we're going to take a look at a mod and this time we're only going to take a look at one mod. So before I show that I want to load up my Ivar the Boneless save which the video on that went up two days ago if you're interested in watching me get the Blood Eagle achievement. It is available on YouTube and you can watch it. But we're going to take a look at one of my biggest complaints that occurred during this achievement. Okay, so my biggest complaint when I was doing this game which we did get the achievement was if you go here to game rules I had total independent exclave independence set to total and then I also had diplomatic ranges restricted and yet and yet Sweden is down here in Africa Sweden's over here Britannia some of my vassals went and conquered that land I didn't do it Francia is down here um things got weird at one point we had part of Kazaria here in Britannia which made no flippin' sense. We had part of Estonia over here. I mean, this this has been nonsense. Estonia, I mean, that's not too bad, I guess. But, eek. It was, it's, it's gotten rather silly. Over here's not so bad, I guess. But around the Mediterranean, they don't seem to understand what is a proper distance to actually maintain control of your land. They really don't. We got Denmark and Sweden down here just chillin'. Then, you know, we own Genoa for some reason. Don't ask me why. We do. We do. It, it's the weirdest odd thing. But someone came up with a mod. So it's a brand new mod, Improved Exclave Independence, and it came out four hours ago as of when I'm recording this. This video is going up on Saturday, though, so the 26th. Um, it was created by King Raph the Sly. And this mod allows you to set the distance in which overseas exclaves become independent. Let's go check that out. All right, so here we are on the A67 start. We're gonna come click on um, Iceland up here. You know what, no, 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 no. We'll click on West Francia, why not? We go to game rules. So here is our exclave independence. We are going to set it to total. Now, where is our new rule? Is it down here? Right down here. So default is 2,000 max distance. We can do half to 1,000. Interesting, minimum naval distance needed to be able to hold every county in the game without exclave independence happening, if exclave independence is total. All right, quarter. Impossible to hold faraway islands slash land overseas like Iceland without it becoming independent if exclave independence is total. So, we have total exclave independence, and that means if we are in Scotland, we cannot reach and hold Iceland. Okay, so that's really tough. Or you can do eighth. You can really cut it down. 175. Okay. Holding the island of Crete as the Byzantine Empire is impossible with this. Uh, holding the island of Gotland as Sweden is impossible with this. Um, you can't do any exclave independence. No, you've got to be connected by land. You know what? Let's just see how that works. Let's, uh, yeah, let's load it up. Uh, and of course, you know, turn off the demonetization button just in case. I did load in as, a uh, Jarl Sigurd snake in the eye, but I think actually I'm going to put it on observe and we'll see just uh, what nonsense the game gets up to. And then we'll also see if this mod actually works. Because we do have it set to remove all exclave independence. So let's take a look. I'm thinking the best way to test this out will be when the Byzantines uh, pass away, since they do actually have land across the sea here in Sicily, and then in the boot, and over here in, um, oh, what's it called? Cyprus. There you go, in Cyprus. I want to say Crete. I know it's not Crete. We also have another possible testing ground here. Gotland conquered parts of uh, East Anglia over here. So if they hold on to that when he dies, could be interesting. We will have to wait and see until someone dies. Well, and the Byzantines have gotten more land for us to possibly test this out on when he dies. You need to die, sir. You're 41. Come on, just kick the bucket. You know, 41 is the 80 of this era. We've got another possible testing ground here. West Francia has crossed the channel and has taken a bit of England. So, will it fall apart? Hmm, we will see... 
And West Francie has conquered uh, Mallorca's down here as well. So come on, you're 66, you're 53. One of you guys have got to kick the bucket soon, please. And would you look at that, Basilius Basilios died. You see, he died in suspicious circumstances. Oh, poor dude. In 890, and it is 890. It's, it's a, about two weeks later. But, you know, look at the Byzantines. All this land was lost. All of it. It's still held by these guys who were given the land previously by the emperor. Like, yeah, inherited, became independent. You? I uh, you take a look at you. You inherited. Interesting. Okay, that's all it says for you. What about down here, this guy? Sy Syracuse. Syracusa? Oh, inherited. Interesting. Oh, he must have just, uh, no, 881. All right, but, you know, they're all independent now. And when this guy kicks the bucket, he'll lose his land overseas. This is perfect. This is what people want. I mean, this is a bit extreme. I don't think the Byzantines should be losing, the, like, the Aegean Islands in a normal game. But you can stop the bloody Swedes from getting bits and pieces down in Egypt. You can stop your vassals when you're playing Britannia from conquering Genoa for some unknown weird reason. This is lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much, King Raph the Sly. The link to this mod will be in the description box down below. So if you want to check it out for yourself, there it is. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. If you would like to help support this channel, be sure to join the Discord, join the community, check out my patron, patron, Patreon. Which is it? Patron, Patreon? I know it's Patreon, but uh, it, it's too close. And I know it's meant to be close, but come on. Okay. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.